The other day, my daughter sidled into my office and asked me, Dearest father, whose knowledge is incomparable, what is Kubernetes? All right, that's a little bit of a paraphrase, but you get the idea. And I responded, Kubernetes is an open source orchestration system for Docker containers. It handles scheduling onto nodes in a compute cluster and actively manages workloads to ensure that their state matches the user's declared intentions. Using the concept of labels and pods, it groups the containers which make up an application into logical units for easy management and discovery. And my daughter said to me, huh? And so I give to you the illustrated children's guide to Kubernetes. Once upon a time, there was an app named Fippy, and she was a simple app. She was written in PHP and had just one page. She lived on a hosting provider, and she shared her environment with scary other apps that she didn't know and didn't care to associate with. She wished she had her own environment, just her and a web server she could call home. An app has an environment that it relies upon to run. For a PHP app, that environment might include a web server, a readable file system, and the PHP engine itself. One day, a kindly whale came along. He suggested that little Fippy might be happier living in a container. And so she moved. The container was nice, but it was a little bit like having a fancy living room floating in the middle of the ocean. A container provides an isolated context in which an app, together with its environment, can run but those isolated containers often need to be managed and connected to the external world. Shared file systems, networking, scheduling, load balancing, and distribution are all challenges. The whale shrugged its shoulders. Sorry, kid, he said, and disappeared beneath the ocean's surface. But before Fippy could even begin to despair, a captain appeared on the horizon piloting a gigantic ship. The ship was made of dozens of rafts all lashed together, but from the outside it looked like one huge boat. Hello there, little PHP app. My name is Captain Kuby, said the wise old captain. Kubernetes is the Greek word for a ship's captain. We get the words cybernetic and gubernatorial from it. Led by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, the Kubernetes project focuses on building a robust platform for running thousands of containers in production. I am Fippy, said the little app. Nice to make your acquaintance, said the captain as he slapped a name tag on her. Kubernetes uses labels as name tags to identify things, and it can query based on these labels. Labels are open-ended. You can use them to indicate roles, stability, or other important attributes. Captain Kuby suggested that the little app might like to move her container into a pod on board the ship. Fippy happily moved to Kuby's giant boat, and it felt like home. In Kubernetes, a pod represents a runnable unit of work. Usually you'll run a single container inside of a pod, but for cases where a few containers are tightly coupled, you may opt to run more than one container inside of the same pod. Kubernetes takes on the work of connecting your pod to the network and to the rest of the Kubernetes ecosystem. Fippy had some unusual interests. She was really into genetics and sheep. And so she asked the captain, um, what if I wanted to clone myself on demand any number of times? Well, that's easy, said the captain, and he introduced her to the replica sets. 
Replica sets provide a method for managing an arbitrary number of pods. A replica set contains a pod template, which can be replicated any number of times. Through the replica set, Kubernetes will manage your pod's life cycle, including scaling up and down, uh, rolling deployments, and monitoring. For many days and nights, the little app was happy with her pod and happy with her replicas. But only having yourself for company is not all it's cracked up to be, even if it is n copies of yourself. Captain Kubi smiled benevolently. I have just the thing, he said. No sooner had he spoken than a tunnel opened between Fippy's replica set and the rest of the ship. With a hearty laugh, Captain Kubi said, Even when your clones come and go, this tunnel will stay here so you can discover other pods and they can discover you. A service tells the rest of the Kubernetes environment, including other pods and replica sets, what services your application provides. While pods may come and go, the IP address and ports of your service remain the same, and other applications can find your service through Kubernetes service discovery. Thanks to the services, Fippy began to explore the rest of the ship. It wasn't long before Fippy met Goldie, and they became the best of friends. One day, Goldie did something extraordinary. She gave Fippy a present. Fippy took one look, and the saddest of sad tears escaped her eyes. Why are you so sad? asked Goldie. Oh, I love the present, but, but I have nowhere to put it, sniffled Fippy. Goldie knew what to do. Why not put it in a volume? A volume represents a location where containers can access and store information. For the application, the volume appears as part of the local file system. But volumes may be backed by local storage, Ceph, Gluster, Azure Files, Elastic Block Storage, or any number of other storage backends. Fippy loved life aboard Captain Kubi's ship and she enjoyed the company of her new friends. Every replicated pod of Goldie was equally delightful. But as she thought back to her days on the scary hosting provider, she began to wonder if perhaps she could also have a little bit of privacy. Sounds like what you need, said Captain Kuby, is a namespace. A namespace functions as a grouping mechanism inside of Kubernetes. Services, pods, replica sets, and volumes can easily cooperate within a namespace. But the namespace provides a degree of isolation from the other parts of the cluster. Together with her new friends, Fippy sailed the seas on Captain Kuby's great boat. She had many grand adventures, but most importantly, Fippy had found her home. And so Fippy lived happily ever after. The end.